Well, just because the kids are out of school doesn't for summer doesn't mean that the learning has to stop. And today, Katie Blake is teaching us about science. She joined <laughs> us here in the studio for another edition of Katie's Science Lab. And you've upped your game as far as matching your emoji there. Yeah. <laughs> got the glove. She's official. It looks awesome. Amazon is a beautiful thing. However, for this, I know these gloves are a little big. Little um, there was only one size available, so I think we're going to have to, because I can't. I've got completely, the food coloring. See? Completely understand. <sighs> Take them off. Mm -hmm. Take them off. Let's... Okay. There you go. Oh, there, there there's the sound effect. Um, <laughs> all righty. So today, this is going to be really fun. We're taking it. We're taking it back to a, a groovy time. I'm going to show you today how to make your very own lava lamp. I was really excited about this because my mom ne never let me have a lava lamp what? when I was a kid. She always said it, they were dangerous. That's just me. My mom I called them tacky, but I got one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous. I never got one. So, yes, we okay. And the cool thing about this is you can make a big lava lamp or a smaller version. So what you're going to need is a clear bottle of some kind. You're going to want to fill it up with water about a quarter of the way full. So not all the way, about a quarter of the way full. You will need some vegetable oil, some Alka-Seltzer, and food coloring. A lot of this stuff you may already have at home. I had to go get the Alka-Seltzer because it's not cold season, but all right, let's get started. So I'm going to show you the smaller one because I think it would take almost all the vegetable oil to fill, fill up this big guy. But keep in mind, you can do whatever size you would like. So we've got our bottle of water filled about a quarter of the way full, and then we're going to add in the vegetable oil. And you'll want to kind of fill up the rest of the bottle with the vegetable oil. So way more oil than water. And the kiddos may be tempted to kind of start to shake the bottle, uh, but don't do that because you want the water and the oil to stay separated mm -hmm. as much as possible. That's that going to help too. That is the wrong cap. We, we, we would have already spilled it by now. <laughs> oh, it was a disaster. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. That's, that's why I'd I let to, mom do it. That's why I had to take <laughs> the gloves off. Yeah, so we've got good separation here. So again, try to keep the kiddos from mixing it up because then you'll have to wait for things to separate out again before adding in the food coloring. So what color should we do, guys? you have a preference? Uh, we lean towards red. Yeah, red? Red. Yeah. Good choice. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to put, you can put a generous amount of food coloring in there. So let the kiddos kind of put a few, a few drops in. Now, nothing's going to happen right away. The food coloring is going to go down to the bottom, and then this is where the Alka-Seltzer comes in handy. I knew I should have opened this beforehand. I really hope this is not like <laughs> one of the lava or the volcano. This isn't like Diet Coke and Mentos, is it? <laughs> I know. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. Got the goggles on. So break the Alka-Seltzer tablet okay. up a little bit. Plop, plop. So you want to put a smaller kind of chunk of it fizz, in there. Ready? Fizz. Let's do it. There it goes. Look at it. Yep. Oh, ooh la la. Mm -hmm. Science. It's that happening. Is so real it's relaxing. It's happening. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> look at that. There it goes. It Heyo. Yeah, look at that. There you go. So that's it. cool. Well, yeah, that's it. But so you so can put ever, more in there. How long does it's? It'll it'll go for about a few minutes, and then if you want to add more of the Alka Seltzer, that's why it's kind of a good idea to break it up. You mm -hmm. can drop more of the Alka Seltzer in there as it starts to slow down. So Sarah asked if I was going to explain <laughs> why this was time? happening. I guess I will. So the of course the oil and the water stay separated, but the Alka Seltzer helps to kind of fizz up the water a bit there, make it kind of carbonated, and so that pushes all that food coloring from the bottom up into the oil. But you don't get a total mixture because the water and the oil uh, still want to stay separated so there you go and again like I said you could do this a big a big version here I may have to do that when I get home and then uh, put some pictures on social media but this is cool you could add different colors do however many colors you want and yeah this will go for a few minutes and then you can use the rest of the Alka Seltzer keep it fizzy that one really worked Katie I like Blake, that you finally we got your lava lamp that you never got <laughs> no. take that bomb <laughs> <laughs> <Just get mom. laughs> so yeah I hope you guys like this you can uh, if you want to do this later mm -hmm. uh, Everything's going to be online, ksat.com. Just go to the KSAT Kids section. And keep in mind, if you want to join us live in real time next week, we're going to let you know on GMSA, I believe in the 6 o'clock hour, right, what you're going to need if you want to follow along with us next Wednesday for okay. Katie's Science Lab. So it's tie-dye milk and now Katie's lava lamp. Lava lamp. Okay, very cool. Got to put and the gloves back on. Now. Great thing about it, these are super easy to do and they don't really make a mess or anything. There you go. Well, Katie doesn't make a mess. Mm -hmm. If we were trying to do this, forget about it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.